All righty, it looks like we are at the top of the hour. We can go ahead and get started. Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us for as a simulation technician shares how Leonardo makes your life in the lab easier presented by MedVision. Just to note that by registering for and viewing today's virtual learning lab, you agree to receive follow-up communication via email from representatives with MedVision. This session is being recorded and will be uploaded to the online learning section of the SSH website later this week. We ask that you keep your camera off and your microphone muted for the duration of the session unless otherwise instructed by one of the presenters. If this is your first time tuning into a virtual learning lab, note that these sessions were held each Wednesday at various time slots during IMSH Delivers. There is an archive of all of the learning labs on the SSH website, and we will begin hosting these again starting in May every Wednesday from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize MedVision as a silver sponsor of IMSH Delivers. SSH and IMSH sincerely values your support of the 21st International Meeting on Simulation and Healthcare. And with that, I will now turn the session over to Bradley with MedVision. Hello everyone, I am Bradley Chinling from MedVision. I am their technician here in Tampa, Florida. Um, a little bit about myself, I was a simulation technician at Johns Hopkins Simulation Center for five years before I moved here and started working here. Um, so I kind of have a good background on simulation and all of the mannequins in the market so far. Um, and I will be presenting Leonardo for you today. So let's get started. So this right here is Leonardo. So Leonardo is our high fidelity adult simulation um, mannequin who uh, we try and pride ourselves here at MedVision on realism. And um, uh, what we have done here is created probably the most realistic mannequin on the market. So um, his realism goes to his height and his weight and his fit. So his height is five foot nine and 160 pounds. Um, his hair is also real hair that is sewn in and um, it is the realistic weight of hair. His head is the realistic weight of an actual human head and his body is um, full weight for a human being. So uh, one thing we'd like to pride ourselves on here at MedVision is our articulation of our mannequins. So he has full articulation of both his arms, legs, and head. Um, he can move them up and down, bend them, and uh, do what you need to with there. Um, his head does rotate and with proper resistance like you would for a human patient. Um, his realism, so he does have astral reflex in the eyes. Um, his eyes are reactive to light. They can dilate independent or in sync with each other. Um, he does have secretions. He can cry, he can sweat, he can secrete from the ears uh, and the mouth. And he does have trismus. So trismus, I'm sure you guys all know that you shouldn't be able to move the jaw at all when uh, trismus is active. And he does a very good job of showing that. Um, also with him, he does have a realistic airway. So his airway um, has sensors all inside of him. So he has an esophagus sensor, a trachea sensor, and a right brain uh, mainstem sensor. So if you go too deep with the ET tube, it lets you know um, in the software. Um, along with that, he does have a difficult airway. So he has uh, pharyngeal obstruction, laryngeal spasms, tongue edema, and tongue fallback. He has 50% tongue edema and 100% tongue edema. So 100% tongue edema should be fairly difficult to um, intubate on. And he does a very good job of representing that. So you get the real feel of intubation with uh, difficulty for um, the airway. Laryngeal spasm, if you were to take a glide scope or a CMAC and put it down and put the laryn uh, laryngeal spasm on, you will see the vocal cords close. And if you turn them off, you'll see them open back up. Continuing on down his neck, he does have a real Adam's apple. He comes with two of them, one that is a little bit more difficult. Um, so you can just kind of challenge your students or challenge yourself with the mannequin. Um, continuing on down his chest, he has both sides where you can do left side and right side uh, tension pneumothorax. So you can needle decompress him and really get the feel of um, get rid of the air uh, from the lungs. So moving on down, his chest skin is completely customized with a silicone chest skin. 
So uh, working in a simulation center, I've known that uh, the use of writing utensils such as pens, markers has been banned. At least in Johns Hopkins, we did forbid them from being used in the simulation center. His skin allows you to get that functionality back. So with his skin, you can take any writing utensil and write anything on there. So you can write on him and he is easy to clean. This also goes for moulage and makeup. So with this, you can just take some um, cleaning wipes and it'll just rub right off. Super easy, super easy to clean. And adhesive is also easy to clean off. So as far as his pulses go, he does have uh, carotid pulses, brachial pulses, radial pulses, um, femoral pulses, popliteal, and pedal pulses. All of them, which you can change the strength of it so you can make them weak, none, or even stronger. Um, he does have genitalia. Uh, you can urinate the genitalia, you can catheterize the genitalia. Um, if you push a fully far enough, it will automatically urinate and you'll get actual feedback from the mannequin um, into the pole. Continuing on down, he does have um, an IO bone, which comes with replacements with him. Um, it gives you proper resistance of the bone and will allow you to uh, push fluid through. Um, we also have inserts inside of, uh, on both sides of him, which represent ribs. So if you want to do special procedures, such as a chest tube, um, you have the proper resistance to get through and a real bone to try and uh, manipulate. Attachments that Leonardo come with are a syringe pack. So the syringe pack comes with a variety of different drugs and concentrations of drugs with syringes where you uh, choose the syringe and choose the drug in which you want. And over here on his right arm, you do have an IV already in place for you with a sensor. So the sensor is sensing the RFID tag in the drug. So it will sense the drug that you've selected. And there is also a rate and um, volume sensor inside of the arm. So as soon as you push it in, it'll sense the drug in the software and you will see that pop up with the drug name, how much you administered and how fast you administered the drug. Um, more things about him, he does come with two amputations, an arm amputation and a leg amputation. And we have a stop the bleed slash a tourniquet sensor. So if the amputation is um, bleeding, you can apply a tourniquet onto it, pull it tight and it will sense the tourniquet and automatically stop the bleed. Um, now we can go and dive into the software of Leonardo. scenario. We'll go to themes, healthy patient, and press start. You can change the parameters before you want to start or just start immediately. All right. So in here, it's a pretty clean layout of how everything is going to run. So over here in the brain tab, you have Trismus where you can turn it on and his jaw will lock. You also have convulsions where you can pick between tonic or clonic convulsions, whichever one you want. When we go back, you also have the eyes. So the eyes can be in sync or work independently. So you can have one of them closed, one of them reactive to light or not reactive to light. You can have it dilated or constricted, or you can adjust the blink rate if you want. Going back here, you also have airway. So you have tongue edema, 100% and 50% tongue edema. Um, you also have tongue fallback, pharyngeal obstruction, and laryngeal spasm. Um, here you have the pulse strength, so you can change the pulses, whether you want them normal, you can have them weak or none, or even strong. Um, 
and you can also change whether you want them to be on both arms, both legs, or uh, both pulses for the carotid or any of that stuff. Here's where also you will change the cyanosis. So you can put cyanosis on and have the blue lights on the mannequin turn on to represent the cyanosis. In the lungs, you can hear, you can change whether you want left side or right side pneumo pneumothorax. Um, you can also change the resistance and the compliance of the lungs uh, here as well. Um, auscultation sounds, you can change the heart sounds. You have a library of different heart sounds you can choose from. Um, same thing with the lung sounds. We added COVID lung sounds as well, especially during this pandemic. It's important to know what they sound like so you can diagnose it better. Uh, same thing for the right side of lungs. You can have them in sync as well. And then bowel sounds, you can also choose from a, a few different ones here. Cook-off sounds you can have there. Uh, you can click on more sounds and you can get a more precise um, look at where you want each sound to be represented uh, in the lungs or in the heart or the bowels. So continuing to move on here, we also have bleeding. So he does come with uh, add-ons where he can bleed from. So you can have them bleed from the left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, or the torso, and you can choose how much you want him to bleed, yeah, which rate. Also, he has secretions. So he does have ear secretions. He does have mouth, nose, and sweat. He can also um, cry and urinate as well. All within a click of a button and uh, just moving the style here. He does have patient words. There's seven different pages of phrases he can say. Um, and you can just choose whichever one he want. And uh, you can also speak through the patient up here at the top right. So for the vitals over here on the right side, you can change the um, rhythm pretty easily. You just click on it and then you can have a multitude to choose from. You can go to um, V-fib if you want. You can adjust the heart rate here if you want. Um, all this stuff you can change, PEAs. I know that's important. You can put a delay on it so you can transition from sinus rhythm to V-fib over a, a certain amount of time if you want that to happen as well. If you want to change the heart rate itself, you can just click on it, double click here if you want it to change to a faster number um, or slower number, or you can just use the dial and do that and just slide it back and forth. And you can also put a delay on there as well. Same thing with the SpO2, the ETCO2, and the blood pressure and respiratory rate. You can all change that and all of your changes will appear open here in the action log. All the changes that the instructor makes to the vitals and the patient will appear up here. And so will the everything that the student does will appear here as well. So we have sensors. So if you place these in the right spots, these sensors will glow and then you'll let them know that they're in the right spot. Right here is our uh, defibrillation tab. So if we have a running rhythm, so if our running rhythm was, let's say, ventricular fibrillation, you have there. Um, and then you can have a waiting rhythm, which would be sinus rhythm. So right here where it says quantity under defibrillation, you can choose how many times you want the students to shock. So if you choose it four times, after the fourth shock, it will automatically switch to the waiting rhythm, which is sinus rhythm. And right here, we also have a CPR feedback tool. So it can measure the depth, the rate, how many ventilations you give, how many shocks you deliver, and your hand placement on the mannequin. All right, now we'll show you the debriefing system. So the debriefing system is easy to find. It's under the debriefing tab, and you can choose whichever section that you want to uh, uh, see the debrief on. So you just press start, and here everything will pop up that happened in the session itself. So on this left side here, you'll see everything that happened in the previous session. So we press play, and then you'll see the vitals pop up. Everything will continue. There's timestamps, so you can click on it and then see what happened at that time. So here we made the patient bleed. Um, here we made the patient urinate. And then here we made the patient go into VFib, and all of that changes. If you were to attach a camera, all the feed will uh, pop up here and you'll see them all in real time, everything with the audio, exactly how you want it. All the CPR feedback, you can 
get here as well. The ventilations, the defibrillation, the compressions, you know, all of the quality is all down here as well. And then the description of the patient. We'll show you our scenario constructor. For those who want to make their own scenarios, you will have the ability to do so pretty easily here. So here, you can either do, um, you can open a previous existing one and edit it how you want, or you can just start a new one. So here we'll type in uh, a scenario name, we'll say MedVision, and then press OK. And then here you'll have your template. So right here is the initial state. You just click and drag it if you want to move it. You'll see a pencil mark in the top right corner of the box. You just click that and then adjust the vitals how you want. You can add the name of the state that you want or a short description. You can change the vitals. So if you want them to start at a higher heart rate, let's say 80, you can have that done there. If you want the patient to start with trismus or convulsions, you can uh, add that, the changes that you make will appear in the changes box. So if you want him to even start in um, the ventricular fibrillation, you can have him do that. All the changes will pop up here so you can double check and then you just press OK. Now in order to add a new state, you just click this big red box down here, click and drag and then edit this state how you want as well. So we'll keep it sinus rhythm. So if you want to make it go from the initial state to the first state, you can just go to, you just click and drag and then the trigger will pop up. So you can adjust the trigger as well. You can rename it or you can add the triggers. So you can add them in a specific order. So if you need the students to do things in a chronological order, you can add that or they can do things at any time. So we'll say any time. So to go from VFib to sinus rhythm, the first things you probably want to do is start CPR. So start CPR, and then perhaps you want to shock. You can just press shock, deliver shock, and then press uh, add there. And then once you added all of the triggers that you want, you press OK. So once the students perform these triggers, the state will automatically go to the next state. Now, if you wanted to transition from one state to another over time, you click to the state you want to transfer it from. You go down here in the bottom left, you'll see next state. Just click the drop down tab, click the state that you want it to go to. So in this case, state one. And then you can choose how many, how much time you want to pass um, before uh, you go to the next state. So we'll say a minute and five seconds. Press OK. And then after, if they don't do any of this stuff, they will automatically go to this state after a minute and five seconds. It's pretty easy to use. So you can just add states as many as you want and make a branch and just, you know, have a bunch of different opportunities and different scenarios you can run in one. Um, you can just have them all flow together or flow separately. You can create a bunch of different scenarios for different outcomes that you could possibly see. Then when you are finished, you just press save as, and then it will automatically save it into the area where you will uh, need to save it for it to appear in the software. So you'll just uh, rename it, press MedVision, and then press save. And then you're good to go. All right, and that was our software for Leonardo. Now onto the topic of this webinar, how does Leonardo make your life easier? Well, with his realism and his easy to use software, as you saw, it's easy to navigate, it's easy for anybody to use, even if you have zero level of experience with simulation or any trainer, you can use him pretty easily and enjoy your experience. Another way he does make your life easier is with our BlueScope. Our BlueScope is our uh, specialized uh, Bluetooth um, stethoscope where you can either use it by itself. It has an external speaker in it, so you put it to the chest, 
and listen. And then you'll hear whichever sound you're over the point for. So if you're over a um, heart auscultation point or a lung auscultation point or the bowel auscultation point, that's the sound you will hear. Um, you can also slide a stethoscope in it so each student can have their own stethoscope. I know during COVID times, we want to minimize the amount of contact we come with um, other people. So everybody gets their own smart scope. These things can be wiped down and cleaned so they can just hear and use the sounds which are clean and um, good quality sounds that you hear. Along with that, we again, we do have the COVID sounds for during uh, these pandemic, I'm sure that wanting to be able to diagnose COVID is a top priority. Um, I, I know in the simulation world of being a SimTech that a heavy mannequin might sound like a negative. However, we will are willing to sacrifice uh, the comfort for the increase of quality of patient care. So if someone is heavier and doesn't get the proper training from the student, how are they supposed to know that they are getting um, that it's not so easy to move a patient. Being a heavier mannequin gives that experience to everybody um, and makes it the learning experience that much better and does increase the quality of the patient care, which is our top priority here at Medford. Um With the software, it makes it easier for you to use. And the constructor software, um, you can have full custom ability to create any scenario that you could choose from a one that we have already created. It comes pre-programmed with the mannequin. You can edit it or you can just create your own and make it how you want. Um, so Leonardo does uh, help make the simulation experience better, easier, and um, help increase the quality of patient care, which is the main goal. And um, I think that everybody will enjoy it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us um, or check out our website at medvisionsim.com. We appreciate you guys for coming out and thank you for your time. Um, hope you guys have a happy Easter and thank you. Thanks, Bradley. Marianne, did you want to take questions or did you want to put your email in the chat for everybody? We will put our sales email in the chat and also we have a form on our website. They can go to MedVision Sim and send us questions there, but I will also put in our email address. And um, so if there are any questions we didn't get answered, please feel free to email us. Okay. 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 Olivia, we are going to answer some questions. I'm just going to turn the laptop around. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Then once you have Bradley come here, and we'll turn it around. Okay. Let me stop. Let me stop video. Let me stop video. Let me stop video. So one of the questions, why can you put a bariatric suit and it's not going to overheat? Yes. So if you can elaborate on that. Um, yes, you can put a bariatric suit on him. Um, he will not overheat. He does have cooling systems which uh, prevent him from overheating. Um, so you can simulate him for... Bradley is muted now, so we can... Yeah, there you go. Can you restart that explanation, Bradley? You were muted. Sure. Sorry about that. Um, yes, you can bariatric. use a bariatric suit on him. So I know that overheating might be a problem, but it won't be for him. He does have cooling systems where he can last to eight to 10 hours, even with the bariatric suit on, and he'll um, stay with you and keep up. Another question was, uh, how are the learners looking at all the vital signs? So we do include the patient monitor. You can talk about the patient monitor. Yes, so along with our instructor software, he does come with a patient monitor software where all the vitals that 
um, you will see on the instructor tablet will pop up on the patient monitor tablet. Um, along with this patient monitor, those things are fully customizable and it will pop up once you put the appropriate things on if you have it set to. So these uh, vitals, you can get your heart rate, your uh, SpO2, your TCO2, blood pressure, respiratory rate, the temperature, and you have the ability to customize it. So if you want an anesthesia monitor or a cardiac monitor or anything like that, you are able to customize those and bring up that template. You can also add in uh, patient info. So if you want an x-ray, if you want a 12 lead, you can all you can add that into the software and it'll pop up there for the students. Henry P asks, how much does he weigh and is he easily portable or in situ sim? Yes, um, he weighs 160 pounds. Um, now that might seem like a lot. Um, however, you know, with a heavy mannequin, he wants to get the proper training for real life patients. So that's what we try and pride ourselves on here is the realism. So we want to give you the proper weight of an average um, male in the United States. So he can be easily transported. I would recommend using two people as you probably should with a real patient. You know, you want to make sure that they're comfortable, they're transported without the possibility of being dropped. So he is uh, no different. So you can transport him from bed to bed. You can move the bed easily down the hall to transports, do transport sims and uh, go on that. Uh, next question. Kathleen M asks, pricing for Leonardo and a typical package cost. Um, so Leonardo um, base price is $67,000. Um, he comes with everything included. Uh, which that's the syringe pack, that's the blue scope, that's the EKG adapter. So the, um, it can adapt to a Zoll a life pack, anything like that. It comes with everything that you will need to run the mannequin, including the laptops, the patient software, and the instructor software. And a one-year warranty. And a one-year free one. And free installation. Yes. That's right. And all the consumables. So um, one thing we do do here as well is uh, uh, in-person training, or we can do a Zoom training. So I, myself, being the technician, will um, either come to you or we can set up a Zoom and I will help you unbox the mannequin, teach you how to put it together, pretty much go through what I've gone through during this webinar and help you understand and be able to run your mannequin. And also Leonardo is a closed system. So none, so everything connects to itself pretty easily. And um, you just have to bring it up in no particular order. Henry P asked, does Leonardo come with priests built scenarios or do all cases need to be built from scratch? Uh, he comes with pre-programmed scenarios. Um, he comes with a variety of automatic scenarios, manual scenarios, and uh, certain themes like healthy patient. Um, if you want to create your own scenario, you are more than welcome to do so. If you want something customized and it's pretty extensive, you can send us the details and we can create it for you and send it back. Rima asked, Please, can you show us the CPR feedback on the monitor? Um, I will have to hook it up, but on... We're, we're capable um, of doing it. We are capable of doing it. Um, he does give back real CPR feedback, so he does um, you give you the feedback of the depth. You can compress it to three inches, um, and we'll stay with you the whole entire way. It'll give you the rate, the amount of ventilations you give him, um, how many times you shock him and your hand placement on the mannequin. Um, we do have videos on our YouTube and on our website that show you these um, capabilities of the software and you are more than welcome to check those out. And if you give us your contact information, we can send them to you directly. Kathy M asks about warranty. So um, we have a one, two, three and five year warranty um, these warranties cover almost all of the mannequins. So it comes with a one year preventive maintenance each year. Um, it comes with uh, all the parts. It comes with uh, installation, the um, a policy where if you want to send him back, if 
like that's our worst case scenario. If he something goes wrong and we don't come to you to fix it and we can't fix it over a Zoom, which is our first case. So he does something go, does go wrong. We set up a Zoom call or a phone call and we'll try to diagnose it and walk you through the steps on how to fix it. If all of that fails, you send it back and then we'll fix it and uh, send it right back to you in a timely manner. Or we can come to you. Yes, or we can come to you and bring the tools and parts required. What is the fee for med vision to build this scenario? Asked by Ken Henry P. Um, we don't have a fee. Don't have a fee. Um, if you need a build, we'll build it. <laughs> tell us what you want. Yeah, we'll tell put us it what together. You want. Yep. We'll put it together. Uh, Rima asks, I need to see it, please, or can I have a special session for CPR feedback? I will send you an email. Perfect. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. We, will, we, will. we are more than happy to do one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls um, with you, with your company, or uh, your team. Um, that's also something we offer you is free training for your whole entire team. Um, each year you have the one. So Kathleen M. asks, is technical support included? Yes. Um, so I am the tech here. Um, a lot of your problems and concerns will be directed to me. So I'll be in contact with everybody who has an issue or has any questions about Leonardo um, or for any of our other patient simulators for that matter of fact. Um, so yes, technical support is provided for you and done by myself. Henry P. asks, does Leonardo physiologically react to particular interventions or does the instructor need to control the mannequin response? So there are certain capabilities that he does react to. For example, if you give him a certain drug and if you give him you know, the proper dosages, he will react appropriately to the drugs. The vitals will change automatically and uh, things like that will happen. So a lot of it is instructor based. So if they do something, the instructor will change the vitals accordingly. Um, and if they just kind of go off on a, tra a wrong track, the instructor can try and grab their attention and just be like, hey, uh, you're going in the wrong direction. Maybe um, try something else and bring him back. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I think we're through. Um, I, don't, I don't see any more questions coming in. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Um, and uh, we Hope that you like our simulator. Please don't hesitate to reach us if you would like additional information or one-on-one -on -one training or just your own personal demo. We'd be happy to oblige. Yes. Um, again, our website is medvisionsim.com, and I believe uh, our email has been put in the chat where you can email your questions or things like that. So. All right. We appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you for um, giving us your time. You guys have a great day. Thanks, Bradley. Have a great day, everyone.